Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another episode of Logging from Scratch. So we're back. We are in Farming Simulator 2022, and we're about to start our quest to become rich again. <laughs> so anybody who hasn't watched the previous series of Logging from Scratch, on here we try to start with as minimal, uh, minimal logging stuff as possible and work our way up to the big stuff. Um, it's usually a long, grindy tour, and it takes quite a while to get where we want but <laughs> it's uh it's usually quite an adventure along the way so starting off on this map uh this is erlen grat or erlen gra however you want to pronounce it um we are starting with a chainsaw we are starting with uh the small pickup and we got about forty-six thousand in the bank uh, we also start with a property that we own that we can work on so we uh went and purchased this property up here this is kind of going to be our, our logging territory. Now, um, I haven't really explored this territory yet, so I have no idea if there's going to be, like, lots of trees up here or if I have chosen the worst place in the world. Uh, luckily, the sawmill is just down here, so hopefully it's not too long of a trek to get up there. So, like I said, we usually start off cutting smaller pieces, and we try to use the pickup to fill it up as much as possible, uh, load it up, bring it to the mill, uh, and unload it. And then as we develop and move forward through our career as a logger, starting from scratch, we uh, were able to um, buy bigger equipment, get nicer trucks, and eventually hopefully become a large logging company. So let's go for an adventure and see what we can do. So first I got to figure out where I'm going here. Uh, so looking at our map, we want to go, uh, right, then left across the bridge. Okay. You can see our sound effects for our, uh, trucks are very, uh, similar to what they were before. Whoops. It's a good start. Hit a sign. The acceleration on this bad boy is, uh, pretty, pretty tense. It's almost a little, it's a little much. It's hard to, really hard to drive this guy, actually. Yeah, let's go to first person. Everything's easier to drive from first person. Then you can see the wheel jumping back and forth. I actually have like a, a G20, G29 racing wheel, I want to say. Um, that I probably should plug in for this. And I think I'm supposed to go up here. If I'm doing it right. According to the map. On the map, it looks so much bigger. Then once you start driving, you're like, hey, this is actually uh, not that far to go. So it looks like we picked the right area, because that looks very tree over there. Uh, so let's see here. We're just going to stop middle of the road. There's a guy behind us, but we don't care. So we got to go up, and then at the next circular U-turny, whatever the hell those are, roundabouts, uh, we're going to go left and then follow the road all the way to the top. Like I said, technically I think we own, <coughs> we own all of this in here as well. And I wouldn't say own. We have the land rights. Whoa, that guy ain't messing around. Buddy, calm her down. Okay, so let's see how he does this so we can pretend like we know what we're doing too. So this is the roundabouts. This is something we don't really have. Well, I mean, I'm sure we have them in Canada, but we don't have a lot of them here. But it's kind of like the better version of a four-way stop from what I hear. Now there's these big fluffy trees. Now I have seen some wild videos of those not working out so well, but we can always try to cut down a couple of those too. I think we should start with some more normal trees. So there's like this little burrowy spot over here. I wonder if I can just sneak off the road. Just wipe out a couple of things here. So maybe we'll start with this little little area right here. Oh, there's another road up here. We're gonna do some illegal roadside logging. No, it's not illegal. We're um we're contractors. We've been hired to come do this. So this is fine. This is totally fine. Totally fine. No problem. Uh so yeah basically we're going to have to try to cut down these trees and hand load them into this uh, pickup. It's going to be like firewood. So we're going to see how that goes. Now I've also, oops, uh, maybe I don't have access to this land. Oh, we're on the other side, so we actually have to go up higher. <gasps> okay, well, we can't go here then. Um, I've actually heard stories from people playing that um, it's really hard to get the, uh, the wood prices to stay the same because the economy kind of shifts as you sell more wood sort of a supply and demand kind of feature <laughs> so I guess if you provide them with too much too much wood then the price goes down which is I guess realistic but as a firewood guy I don't think it should be that big of a deal 
Okay, so now technically we should own this section. So let's check here. Yeah, so everything, oops, everything on this side is all takeable. So we're gonna actually just cruise around this house here. Do some, oh, easy now. All right, so let's start back here. Let's start with that big tree. That'll be our first victim, our first tree victim. Now, you probably shouldn't park your truck too close to the trees, but we're going to take a chance on it. We're going to fall it, um, probably crosswise actually, So if I could fall it kind of in between those trees, that would probably be a good spot to start. Now, this is a big tree. I don't know how we're going to buck this guy up. I know you can't lift anything too heavy, so it's going to be a bit of an adventure here. Oop. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Did it hit that tree? So this is your this is your classic situation that you don't really want. Uh, so let's let's put another buck in the tree here. What did it do? Did it hit that other tree? No way. What are the chances of that? Hey, all the trees in a hundred miles, and it goes and it lands perfectly on that one. <laughs> Not my most ideal cut, but that's okay. So I think if I do like kind of a one of these guys. It should knock it down. Or it'll just fall and it'll stick in the ground there, too. Boop. There you go. Oh. Oh. Hey. Victory. There we go. Perfect. And then that bit is worth money, so we want to get that. If I can get out of there. It's kind of stuck. Nope. Can't get that yet. Okay. So let's walk up the tree. Do a little delimbing here. To the beautiful sounds of wah, chainsawing. And then, like I said, piece by piece, we'll have to bring this guy to the pickup. And like I said, usually when I get towards the end, I just back the pickup up so I'm not running back and forth. Ooh. Okay, uh, so. Okay, so. Uh, let's. I don't know how much you can carry, so I'm just going to cut off little pieces here and kind of test it. That's a big, hefty tree. Very big, very hefty tree. See, oh, I can pick that up, so that's not too bad. Now, how many of these we can get in the truck? That's the other question. And how the locking straps? There's three on this guy, I think. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then I think you can manipulate it. Yeah, a little bit. I don't want it to fall flatter. Oh, I see it can't because it's got that in. Bloop. There we go. Okay, so we're going to see how many we can get of these. I'm not expecting to make a whole lot of money off these, but hey. We can try. And then eventually what I would like to... I think the first thing I'd want to buy is maybe like a skid steer. So that we can put a little log grapple on it. Drag it up here. We'll need a trailer too. See, now I don't know if that pickup can handle a trailer and a skid steer on the back of it. But we could try. That's a big tree, hey? Oh, can we get in there? Well, if we remember from previous episodes of Longing from Scratch, we will make it fit. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another. And you got to take these bits, too, because these bits are... Uh, it's money, man. You don't want to waste that. This is the very slow version of logging. Um, eventually, like I said, once we start making more money and we can... Uh, wow, it almost fits perfect. Um, once we start making more money, we can uh, buy bigger equipment. And we get some of the the FDR logging stuff. And then we can get real juicy with our, with our cutting. Which is good, because it buys me more time to create the FDR logging stuff. Oh, good. Good, good. Yeah, there's something that uh, people have been reporting, so that's good to see it firsthand. It's, uh, it's one of those uh, sheety logs that creates a sheet when you cut it. That's cool. That's okay. We're only going to be able to get so many of these. I wonder if that corrects when I cut it again. We'll find out here. It's definitely not an oversight. Okay, let's see. Can we still cut it? Oh, I can't even see a spot to cut it here. So is that tree dead to me now? I can't cut it anymore. Huh. Weird, hey? Well, we'll just call that the ghost tree and that one died, I guess. So if I make like a little nick on the end or anything, can I do that? Huh. Crazy, hey? Well, let's hope that doesn't keep happening to our beautiful trees. Okay, so let's fall another one. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, let's fall this guy. And I'm hoping it doesn't fall on our pickup. 
But I think we should begin. And down with the ship she goes. Oh, 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 don't fall in the truck, don't fall in the truck. Oh, well, not too bad, so that's good. We didn't break anything. So hopefully we don't get that same effect out of this one. Maybe we'll start at the other end this time. Or you know what we should do is cut it into uh, into bits. We'll cut like a big chunk off so that it's separate from the rest of it. So that way if it screws up, we can still have a little bit of fun. Except I'm afraid if I cut this, I'm going to move my pickup a little here. So I'm afraid if I cut this, it's going to fall right onto my truck. All right, so let's back up right into here. My truck has turned into an electrical vehicle. I don't hear the engine. Oh, there it is. Ha, ah, there you go. It takes a second to kick in there. So let's not cut it downhill so we don't get squished here. Let's cut it like about here, I guess. We'll see what happens. Just a little snip here. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Oh, well, at least it's got a big bush bumper on there, so that's good. Oh, no. I don't have access to what land? Some land. Okay, so what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm just going to do that where I'm going to cut it into, like, little sections here. Because then as the sections go, um, hopefully it doesn't fall apart on us. See, now, if I had a little skid steer, I could probably grab these bigger chunks and we could load it onto a trailer or something. But don't you worry, guys. That's coming. That's what I'm most excited for. I love doing that stuff. All the graphical glitches and audio glitches apart. I do enjoy a good, a good put it together session with one of these. Can I pick that up? Oh yeah, we can pick that up. Look how strong we are. So powerful. All right, so um, we might need to push this log actually ahead a bit, because I think it's outside of our cut range because of the, the silly, um, the silly boundaries. Okay, so let's push this guy into here. Thank God for that big bush bumper on there. We should just push these all the way to the mill, and then we don't have to carry them. Huh? Come on, guys. That was actually uh, a setting I need to turn on that I realized I did not turn on. We actually have to turn a couple settings on. Uh, so let's turn that off. Let's turn that down. Economy's hard. Yes. Just like real life, hey? Crappy economies. Um, I was looking for... Uh, stop and go. There it is. Oops, not stop and go. That one. Beauty. That's a good one to have. Very good one to have. Because then your vehicle doesn't get all stuck on stuff. Okay, so now... Whoa, calm down, Torky. Okay, we're going to go park this guy right over here. And then we're going to load her up. So where's that little stick that I had that I dropped? This one here. It's got a little bit of, little bit of twigs on the end there. So we should be able to load that whole stick in there. Like I said, this is piece by piece. This is uh, this is professional logging right here. This is the good stuff. Let me just throw it right over. See, this one's got a headache rack this time. So that's a big upgrade from our last game. Big headache rack to protect it. Or actually, maybe the other one did have a headache rack, now that I'm thinking. I can't really remember. That's probably going to be too big. He's got to kind of judge these, because then, I remember in the last game, whenever you had a piece that was way too big, then you'd have to, like, shuffle it around and keep cutting it, and you'd have, like, 30 pieces all in a pile. That's pretty funny. Uh, we don't really want to do that this time. Uh, let's go about there. And this is how we make the firewood. I'm hoping to get at least one, one load our first episode. I usually do about 20-minute episodes. That's usually, uh, usually more than enough. Of you guys listening to me banter away. And that way we get more episodes over more days. It makes it a little more fun. If you do like long two, three hour episodes and people get a little tired of that. Which I totally understand. As a YouTube watcher myself, I get it. I really do. So now, again, I don't know. It says the economy's on like hard mode. Now, I don't really know if... Um, can we lower the tailgate on this guy? Oh, thank the lord. Um... I don't know, based on what I'm hearing, it's going to be really difficult to make money off of firewood alone, because I think, like I said, if you flood the market with firewood, it's uh, it's very expensive. Oh, can I pick that up? See, that's what I'm talking about. Now i got to cut it again. I got too cocky with that one. 
and then we'll fast forward eventually where we got you know a big log loader going and a tiger cat in the future and we'll be mass loading logs and we'll, we'll look like pros but you know what <coughs> it's gonna be expensive that stuff ain't cheap to run and it ain't cheap to buy all right we'll just settle that there oh no nope, yes we won't can I put that like on the tailgate I kind of want it to lock though so maybe we should load it kind of like this whoops I think there's a locking strap right there this is a very bad load of firewood I would highly recommend not doing this the way I'm doing it but you know what whatever gets her to the mill man that's uh, that's how she go and then hopefully eventually we can get longer pieces uh, again, I have to stack it pretty, pretty high here to get our money's worth. And then the other question is, with all this weight, can this little truck handle it? Okay, we're going to try to get this last piece on, and we'll, we'll head to the mill. Oh, uh-oh, there we go. You know what, I think that deserves a photo. I mean, look at that thing. That is a beautiful load. I have never put together such an exceptional, exceptional load before. I think that's pretty good. Oh, my, uh, my screenshot thing's not working. That's not good. You know what we need to do? We need to give ourselves our own screenshots. Which is where there should be an option for it. Take screenshot. I think there was an option for a screenshot in here, wasn't it? Game, pause game, open menu. Uh, save screenshot. There we go. Let's make that a weird button like that. Whatever that is. There we go. Screenshot. Wow, that was a long screenshot. Okay, cool, we got it. So now, we're going to take this bad boy down to the mill. Uh, wherever that is, and we'll figure it out. Now let's see if it can handle this. I can already tell it's having a little bit of, uh, a little bit of issues. But hopefully, the brakes will still work. <laughs> it doesn't like all that weight in the back. <laughs> oh boy. She a bouncy. She a bouncy girl. Okay, let's uh, let's go take a look at the place we're supposed to go. So we got to go all the way down this road. And then once we get to the roundy boat, we take a right. That's all we got to remember. All the way down the road, we take a right. Oh, good lord. Oh, we'll just drive through those. That's cool. Man, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of riding the gain here on this one. Oh, this poor little truck. I wonder how much weight that is. It's probably quite a bit. Well, actually, you get that little measuring tool now where you can actually see how much it costs or how much it weighs when you're doing stuff. Oh, just watch out, man. There's a dangerous wood cutting guy here. The AI traffic in this game is so much more aggressive than the last one, though, I have to say. They're violent. They are violent. <laughs> this is some of the scariest, scariest dudes. I remember when I was first initially testing out some mods and man, those AI, if you don't have the collision set right, they will just run right through you and send you sailing into the uh, the next millennium. Pretty wild. Well, Alright, we're getting a little hop here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, this thing is, uh, this thing is amazing. <coughs> like I said, we have, uh, <coughs> a lot of the weight is, uh, very, very high center. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> we haven't tipped it yet, though. Okay, so I said take a right at the roundabout, and that's all we need to know. Okay. Wait, did it take... Was it take a right? Yeah, I think it was take a right. Take a right, and then when we get all the way down to the next connector, it's a left. So again, I don't know this map at all. I'm completely blind to it. This is all new to me. So this is, uh, this is kind of fun. I hate coming in prepared. <laughs> Especially logging from scratch. I, I hate being prepared. I hate having having to know where I'm supposed to go. That just that just takes all the fun out of it. Oh, 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 jeez. It's the only way to make money, though. We gotta, we gotta put all this stuff in here high up. But yeah, if you have a plan and you know what you're doing and know exactly where you're going, that's no fun for me. I want you guys to experience this adventure <laughs> with me. Okay. So in the last game, I kind of just gunned it, but now I actually look both ways before I pull out, because those AI guys do not mess around. They will crush you and kill you. All right, so this is the this is the mill, apparently. Where's the actual cell point? So that's for wood chips. Is this for wood? I guess so. Oops, look out, people. 
Hey, at least they wait now. They don't walk through your vehicle. That's cool. All right. So let's do a sample test to make sure this is the actual cell point. Man, this thing is having a hard day. All right. So let's just grab one of these chunks and we'll drop it down. I think it's here. It sounds sounds like a sawmill. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm sure one of those words means sawmill. All right, so we have 46424 For So we made $118 off that one piece. That's pretty good. <coughs> so this is definitely the sawmill. So what I would like to do is be able to back up and just kind of launch all these bits in there. But that's okay. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just hand bomb it off. That's fine. Once we get a trailer and a skid steer, we'll just load our own stuff and then we won't have to worry about it. It's going to happen. We could probably actually afford a skid steer. We'll do a few loads of this just to, you know, be normal. And then we'll, uh, we'll test it out. So this is our collection of expensive woods right here. Let's see. How much do we make? Thousand bucks. So it's like, uh, like fourteen hundred dollars a load if we high pile it like that, which is actually pretty darn good. Um, that's actually not bad at all. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll park it. So that's our first. That was our first load for the first episode, which is a great start. Um, this truck is a blast. I love it. I don't know why I have a I have a good feeling about this truck providing us with entertainment. So based on the way it drives down hills. Um, eventually, I want to get into wood chipping. So they do have a wood chipping place here, too. So um, we'll see how money goes, and we'll be able to explore it. But, I mean, geez, that's actually a pretty good price for our uh, for our wood to start. Now, again, based on the economy, we'll see how things, things go. Uh, so in the next episode, we will try to uh, fill this up a few more times, maybe make some more money, and then I think we'll just buy a skid steer. Um, I try to keep to the rule also while we're playing Logging from Scratch that we purchase... Um, everything we don't lease anything everything that we buy we actually purchase um, So yeah, if we can afford a skid steer with an attachment, but then we need a trailer too, so We'll price it out. We'll price it out on the next one and we'll see uh, we'll see what how much we actually need and then uh, We'll make our plan based on that. Alrighty guys. Well, thanks for watching uh, And like I said, we'll we'll have a lots more of these coming out. So so please keep tuned <laughs> All right. Well, we'll catch you on the next one and uh, don't forget to hug a tree See ya.